Good morning. It's me, Bobby Brantley, consultant with The Pamper Chef. And I'm here this morning um, to talk with you about making your own cinnamon rolls from scratch. They're, the key to this is just to have the right tools. So what I've done is, um, first of all, to make cinnamon rolls, you just start off, you don't have to make your own dough, but you could buy in the store this hot roll mix and then um, follow the instructions on making that. And then I also have a, um, a uh, pastry mat that I have to roll it out. And I'll show you in a second some of the tools that I'm using but I have a pastry mat to roll that out. And what I'm really excited about is, today is August the 31st, and tomorrow, September 1st, we're going to have a brand new catalog. And so one of the new tools that we've introduced is a roller, yay, a full-size roller. Um, it's made of stone, so it's a little heavy but it's matted so it makes it real easy to roll the dough. So I'm really excited to be able to use that this morning. I have um, made up a mixture of, this is cinnamon, brown sugar, sugar, K-roll syrup, and butter. So this is gonna be my filling for the cinnamon rolls. And then I, what I've done here is I've actually laid it out on, um, I've rolled my dough out and I'll show that to you. And then we're just gonna go through the steps of putting the um, mixture on the rolls and then we'll put it in my, some of you may be familiar with our bakeware, which is, this is called a rectangular stoneware. And this promotes even um, baking so this is great for any type of casserole. Today I'm gonna to put about 12 rolls in here. So we'll just walk through that step. You may be familiar with the measuring cup. I love this because I was able to put my uh, measurements, the measurements are on the side of the cup and I was able to put my brown sugar in it and just pop it out through that. Um, so this is great for if you're measuring peanut butter or shortening. Um, it's a liquid and a solid. So it's solids on this side, flour, sugar, uh, shortening, peanut butter, liquids on this side. There's a little pour spout here so you can pour out your liquids. So I'm going to adjust my camera and so that you can see what I'm going to do down here. Okay, so I got my roll, dough kind of rolled out in a rectangle. So this is really nice because it doesn't stick. I'm gonna, this is just a um, large spreader. So I'm gonna take this, and these rolls are just really, really fantastic tasting. I'm just gonna spread this out on the dough in different places. And you can see my um, pastry mat. And what I really love about the pastry mat is you could store this, it's made of silicone, so it's very flexible. You don't have to worry about it uh, turning uh, corners or anything like that, because it will always uh, be flat for you. And the whole story behind the cinnamon rolls here is my son is home um, for a visit for a couple of days, and he actually loves cinnamon rolls. So one of the things that he asked me to make sure that I make for him while he was home is to um, make these cinnamon rolls. So when he was younger, uh, and still to this day, but you know, everybody else got a cake for their birthday, but he didn't really like cake. So what we would do for him is we would actually um, get Cinnabons, several of them, 
And one year, my husband even, you know, we just kind of managed and put it like in a cake form. And we would always give him Cinnabons for um, his birthday. So he would not get a birthday cake, but Cinnabons it was. So he really um, loves cinnamon rolls. Um, so I'm just going to spread this. And so now that he's home, I'm just making these up for him so he can have a treat when he wants. It's, and these rolls are just as good as the ones from Cinnabon. It's going to be in for a great treat. Let's see. And basically at this point, I just need to roll this up. We got to put some cinnamon over here. You can't have any really too bare, too big bare spots. Roll this up. So you can see on my pastry mat, it has a place here if you do um, your pie crust. So it has circumference for that. It has measurements on the side. I absolutely love this. This saves your counter um, and makes it easy to clean up. So now that we have that here, I'm going to take a serrated bread knife. And just kind of, um, I usually, like I said, I do about 12. That's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's not going to be quite 12, but that's okay. So I'll cut these and then I'm going to put them in my dish here. I don't know why, but I usually am able to do uh, 12. It's just the way the approach that I took this particular time. And you guys are watching out there. so. Of course, it wouldn't come out exactly right. And of course, these will have to rise. already have my oven preheated and whenever you want to kind of have um, dough rise quickly you can turn up the um, like actually put it in the oven on low heat but, but we'll do this we'll make this 12 this one may be a little bit smaller so we have 12 rolls here and um, I'm just going to cover it. Just hold on a second. Um, I have this covering here. I love this because this is made of silicone. This, um, a, a rectangle cover, you, I'm going to cover it and um, it has a little hole here. So if you wanted to just cover for, say for instance, you make Rice Krispie treats and you just want to cover it and leave it out on the counter, this is great for that. This is great for baking. This takes the place of um, foil. So instead of using foil or saran wrap. So instead of doing that, you can save yourself some money and um, get some of these Pampers Chef covers. So I'm just going to cover it 
and put it in a warm place. So this fits nicely over a 9 by 13 size. It doesn't have to be Pamper Chef, so this fits over 9 by 13. Okay, I'm going to let those rise for a few minutes and then put them in the oven. And then I'll do another video when I take it out of the uh, take them out of the oven and put some icing on it. But this is Bobby Brantley with Pamper Chef. If you want any information about Pamper Chef or cooking tools or how to host your own party, um, you can visit my website at www.pamperedchef.biz, B-I-Z, backslash Bobby B. That's B-O-B-B-I-B. -B -I -B. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And be sure to check out my second video when I'll just put some icing on the cinnamon rolls. See ya. Bye.